This is Dabu7, and we've got some new shots here of Atlas and some new information and some details released here from Avi Loeb in terms of their findings. And you can see here in the image to the right that currently, the newest image that they put out, it looks like there's a plume coming off the backside of this thing. And some would say, okay, it's starting to look somewhat like a comet, but there's a whole lot wrong with this. And Avilo breaks this down. The image on the left was caught uh, by a different telescope, and they caught it in motion as it was traveling. And I'll leave a link so you guys can look into the images and the video footage on all that stuff. But the details that Avi gives here, it raises the question, did this thing break apart, explode, disintegrate? Well, it's kind of tricky. This is what is really going on. This is what they say, though. They say that the images on November 9th show multiple jets, which I covered in a different video, going out to 1 million kilometers toward the sun and 3 million kilometers in the opposite direction. So it's got them all the way around symmetrical. This is why some say it looks like a, a spaceship with thrusters or something blasting different, uh, you know, different degrees of thrust in different directions to keep it going where it wants to go. It's an interesting bit of detail because as we go along here, this is what they say. They say at the speed at which this thing's moving, these jets should have and must have, there's no other way around it, if it's a normal comet, they must have persisted over a time scale of one to three months. Big problem. We did not witness that. This did not have that. It was missing this massive tail that it should have been kicking out the entire time. So, Given that the jets toward the sun were stopped by the solar wind at a distance of a million kilometers, they calculated that the mass density is a few million proton masses per cubic centimeter at a distance of a million kilometers from Atlas. So the product of all this, they're saying, you can see in the image to the right, that after calculating all of this that's been kicked out, it's so much debris that... Atlas should be gone. Because in the original images from July, they calculated that Atlas was at least 33 billion tons based on the early dynamics. Mm -hmm. What a number that they come to. Now, with all of this ejection, they're saying that there shouldn't be anything remaining at the core, but yet they see something. And this is where Avi writes and says, Houston, we have a problem. With the natural comet hypothesis, which he tried to go with this whole time by running the data and the numbers, you, you've had all these red flags the entire time. But they say that the required surface area of Atlas to provide for this much loss would mean that it should have been 16 times larger. Then they say that there's really only one, this goes right back to what he was saying before, something that's not natural that is propelling this thing. That is what is kicking off all this. It's thrusting away from the sun because it's not naturally being pulled. They've told us all these things already. They said that it was not gravitationally affected by the sun. And how it dropped down on this plane at a 0.02% chance of being natural. All these things... All the crazy images that we're going to continue to get. But this, the the jetting, um, the off-gassing or whatever you want to call it here, the jets themselves and the directions are very interesting. Never seen that on a comet. We've observed a lot. So Avi is pretty much saying at this point, this thing should be gone. It should have exploded and disintegrated by normal means, but yet there is still something there. There is a tight, compact center to this still, which makes no sense. 
given all of the billions of uh, debris that's been kicked off out of it. It's just, they say technological thrusters require a much smaller mass in order to produce the observed jets around throughout Atlas. Chemical rockets are propelled by exhaust speed of 3 to 5 kilometers per second, which is 10 times larger than the maximum ejection speed of volatile sublimation from sunlight. He goes on to explain here that there's the odds lean in favor of something, he says technological. He said this the whole time. So all of a sudden, you're presenting us with data saying that this thing pretty much should have fell apart. Shouldn't be much of anything there at all. But yet, there still is. And then you end it with saying, oh, it could be thrusters. What? Like, this thing has been kept under wraps, obviously with the government shutdown. Now it's peeling out away from here. It, it'll start moving further and further away from us. It'll pass Jupiter, yes. But will they show us anything from those probes? We seem to get the best images sometimes from the backyard astronomers and uh, the angry astronaut and then Dobsonian power, uh, Tiago over there, those guys doing good work. And they're real about it too. They look at the at the real raw data, the images, there's no manipulation, and they talk about it and cover it. I don't know what to say at this point because they say it's impossible that it all of a sudden has this ejection coming out of it. It should have already did this the past one to three months. You see, so we have more red flags, things that don't make sense. Regardless of what you want to make of this thing or whatever you think it is or what it's doing, it's not doing normal things, that's for sure, and this is just more of it. So the question remains, did it disintegrate? Is it still there? Like, what is really going on here? A lot of question marks now, but in the coming days and weeks, if people are still capturing solid images of this, well, the disintegration thing obviously isn't the case, then that leans heavy toward one thing. Well, we'll see here. Only time will tell. Join me for the live streams. And if you have any images yourself, let me know. Dabu7 at yahoo.com. Would love to share them. And eyes to the skies.